So, I hope everybody out there has been paying attention to what's going on. Maybe you just got out of work a little while ago. Maybe you're still working and you're listening to this. But yes, there was another bank that actually collapsed today in California. It was a Silicon Valley bank and it did collapse. They did uh, go in and close the bank today. They lost billions of dollars. Um, there's a lot of stuff that is going on. And I do believe, as we're going to hear here in just a second, this is the second bank in a matter of weeks in California that has collapsed. Listen in. All right, America's 16th largest bank has collapsed. That's the big news, right? Uh, this after Silicon Bank Bank uh, slid more than uh, the stock, at least at uh, 60% in just the last 24 hours or so. Uh, it was forced to sell a, a roughly $21, $22 billion bond portfolio, and it recognized a nearly $2 billion loss, I believe $1.8 billion when all was said and done. Yeah, just quickly, I think the everything bubble has burst, especially with the second California bank in just a matter of weeks Being to go bubble. under. And so those uh, zero rates and you're seeing this in real time, the fact that you're seeing these stress points, I think that's being played out in the markets right now. So with this bank collapsing today, it just tanked the whole stock market. One of the worst weeks on record in a long, very long time. And what are we to expect? I think we're going to be expecting a lot more of this, folks. Now, I'm not saying to run out and close out all your accounts and everything else and take your cash out of all your different banks and things of that nature. But I would highly suggest having some cash on hand just on a chance that something like this does happen to another bank or maybe to your bank. I always suggest keeping cash on hand just for emergencies only. So this way here, you always do have that in your possession and it's not in an institution somewhere, if you know what I'm saying. Now, the government did have a response and stuff to this and you have to listen to what this guy has to say because the key word here um, that you really want to be listening for is towards the end of this little minute and 15, 20 second video you're going to watch and how all of a sudden, you know, maybe they are predicting the future and what is going to happen. I mean, we all know that the debt ceiling is coming up soon. Uh, that is coming up in June. There is no really talks or anything else. You have the Biden administration that is, you know, they put forth their plan. The Republicans are rebuttaling with this plan here, but nobody is negotiating. Nobody's talking or anything else. And this is a very, very big deal, folks. So we do not want to default on this because it's going to get really bad, really fast, really ugly. And if you think people out of work now, you know, they're talking if this thing is not settled and this goes into two to three weeks with no, uh, you know, no bill, no nothing to end the uh, raising of the debt ceiling. What is going to take place is you could have millions up top of millions of people that are put out of work. You could have millions of companies that could be closing. There is a huge ripple effect that goes along with this. But listen to what this guy has to say, and we'll be back with our final comments. You know, one should be concerned, but just like one shouldn't overreact to a positive sign, uh, uh, you know, one should look carefully at, at a negative sign. And this will be a focus going forward. But, you know, we're monitoring. We're, you know, of course, there, you know, you never like to see a situation like that. But again, I want to point to the resilience of the economy. And of course, I can't help suggesting, though, that this shows why you don't play games with the U.S. economy. And I think one thing one could do to help the entire financial and economic system is take off the table the idea that we're that that the GOP is going to risk a financial default, uh, you know, over their demands, which I think, as we've seen, uh, quite unreasonable demands on the budget. Let's have that discussion, but let's let financial markets know right now there is nobody is going to be holding the U.S. economy or the U.S. financial system hostage uh, uh, by, by saying if they don't get their way, uh, mm -hmm. they're going to default the U.S. government and have an unprecedented financial catastrophe. So, folks, all I can say is, wow, uh, they're writing it right on the wall for us, and here is your warning. You know, they're going to be working on it in the GOP, and, and uh, you know, everybody needs to be working together. As they say, we need to not be holding anything hostage or anything else else key word not holding the american economy hostage this is what could happen 
This is where we're headed. We need to really be paying attention. You need to be really kicking up your preps, making sure that you are ready. Make sure that you do have cash on hand. You have enough food and stuff to get you through a good, a good month to three months supply of food. Even out in California, they're warning people because of this huge, all these storms and stuff that are starting to come in. And they're telling people out there they need to have a two-week supply of food. If the government is telling you a two-week supply of food, you're going to want to at least double, triple it, whatever. Because basically, they're telling you, hey, you're going to be on your own. And if you don't do something, huh, we're not going to be there to help you. That's the name of the game. That's why we need to be prepared. That's why we have to be preppers. We need to do it for our families. We need to make sure that we have cash on hand, food, water, medical, maybe some emergency gear and things of this nature, some way to generate power, filter water, um, all these different types of things, first aid. It's all got to be covered, folks. It's one big piece of pie. We have to make sure that we're doing everything possible because these idiots that are up there in Washington, D.C. right now, they have no clue what they are doing. They're playing with fire, and the only ones that are going to get burned is you and me. Remember that. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me in this video today. I really do appreciate it. I'm out. <music>